Young people are leaving, not just Albania, but all the Balkan countries. No work means no future in Europe's poorest region, even if they eventually join the EU and remove the hard border with Kosovo. We can have two countries with no borders, and then what? We will have the same uh, corrupted political elites, the same uh, economical interests, uh, who are led by uh, a, a bunch of people who are exploiting this country and Kosovo. After decades of little investment, some governments now want closer ties in the Balkans, especially if trade barriers are removed between Albania and the almost two million ethnic Albanians who live in Kosovo. A free trade agreement and free trade with Kosovo, it's crucial for us and also for Kosovo. First of all, we have to look on our markets, our potentiality, our possibility, and after that to look forward in the other markets. So I think that what the Serbians sir, uh, think about, or Macedonians think about this, I don't think that it's an issue for us. But recent demonstrations show the depth of opposition to the government. Protesters have complained about corruption and what they say is the absence of the rule of law. But the question for many in Albania is just how democratic is the centre-right Democratic Party and how liberal is the ruling Socialist Party. There's a scepticism about what some see as the authoritarian stance of many established politicians and how the voters don't seem to enjoy the same benefits as those in power. Unfortunately, Albanian government is not working a lot to fight these things in Albania, uh, which is uh, it's not fighting properly corruption, it's not fighting properly uh, organized crime. And we are, I can say, uh, the only country in the world without uh, a constitutional court, a supreme court, uh, which is uh, not usual for a norm normal country. Politically, Albania is stepping into the unknown as the majority of lawmakers from the two main opposition parties have resigned. Yeah, it's a radical change, I would say, because the opposition has decided to abandon their mandates and their representation, and uh, now we're faced with com something completely new, not only in our political scene, but I think in, in a European scene. It's unprecedented that a political party gives up its responsibilities and its duties. It is an unprecedented change in a country where the past still seems to have a hold. The question now is what happens next. Yolo Abdavid, The Newsmakers, Tirana.